Now, before I open this door, let me just explain to you a lot has changed in the last week or so. And it's all pretty much just been cosmetic up until this point. And it all started with my most favorite thing of all, painting. I really hate painting. Like, it's probably the worst thing for me. One of the biggest issues with painting is the wait time between coats. I literally had to wait around about five hours in between each coat. So this whole process actually took me two full days. I also removed the inserts, painted them off the van and carpeted the back just so that they could act as a headboard for when the bed goes in. The insert over the kitchen area just got painted completely white and don't worry, I do fill in the gaps between the panels because they stand out like a sore thumb now. I also took some of the ply lining off so I could run some conduit ready for the reading lights that I'm going to install at a later date. Whilst I was installing the conduit, I had a little bit of an accident. I cut my face. It was just a war wound. It looked a lot worse than it does now. I cut my eyebrow and cut my nose. Now I didn't actually catch it on film, but it went something like this. But seriously, this is how it happened. I was cutting a hole through here with my drill and that got caught and it went swung around and then that part of the drill hit me in the face and the nose. So, I mean, no one wants to die without any scars, do they? Probably going to have to go to A&E now though, just to get it stitched up. Yay! Because it does, if we look closely, it does move. So it's probably going to need stitching. Five minutes later. I just went for paper stitches. No way am I sitting in A&E for six hours. Once I was happy that the walls had had enough paint and all the panels were back up on the wall, it was time to address the floor. And I got an absolute bargain from Carpet Right for this vinyl flooring. 69, all right. There's no wrong or right way to install vinyl flooring. Except for, if you follow the way I do it, you will probably do it the wrong way. I cannot believe I've installed three lots of vinyl floor in the three separate vans that I've had over the years, and I still struggle to do it. Sometimes using a piece of wood as a guide to cut along helps quite a bit. Once I was happy with the vinyl flooring that it was laid where it needed to be, I decided to glue it down. Now this stuff here is absolutely savage, so if you do use it, make sure you wear gloves, else you will end up in a sticky situation. I decided to trim the vinyl flooring with some metal panels just to protect it when I'm stepping in and out of the van. I literally just bought aluminium L-shaped brackets, cut them to size, drilled the screw holes and made sure I counted some of them. I think the finish came out quite well. It was now time to do a little bit of finishing touches to some of the rougher areas of the ply lining. Now, I'm not an expert on scribing, but I think I did a pretty good job at scribing this panel here. It was then time to address the inserts and tidy them up a little bit. So I decided to finally get on with the surrounds that I've been talking about for ages. And I think they've come out pretty well. Okay, you ready? Kitchen insert, bedroom insert, bedroom insert that side with the place for the, for the lights that are gonna go in. I also did some trim up here as well, just to finish that off. And yeah, I think it all looks pretty good. Initially, uh, once I actually put this together, I thought, ah, is that veil trim a little bit dark? But to be fair, once the mattress is in, the mattress is going to come up to about here. You're not really going to notice it that much. This side here, the mattress will be to here and then it will just be pillows. So you probably won't see it anyway, but it feels really nice. You can already imagine sleeping here. I know I said I probably didn't do that good a job of the floor, but I'm actually really happy with it. Happy with the way it looks, happy with the way that it feels. And I think it's really going to start bringing this whole van together. And if you can see the difference between the kitchen insert, this one actually has a bottom on it. So it goes all the way along here. Whereas on this side, it stops here. And there's a reason why I've done that. Well, the simple reason is, is because as I've just said, the mattress is going to come in. Once the bed comes up to here, you're not going to see that part anyway. So I just figured, well, there's no real point in actually uh, in finishing that part of it. 
There's method in my madness, don't worry. And now that all the painting's done, it means that I can move on to my favourite part of building any van, and that is starting to build the furniture. So I'm going to build the bed today. Now, I am going to use the IKEA hack, as everyone calls it, with the, the metal bars that you can put that go straight across. I am going to use that. However, I'm going to do it a little bit differently, simply because the majority of vans like sprinters and things, they tend to have it where you can actually screw the plates straight into the metal frame of the van. But unfortunately, because of how high up I actually want the bed to be, I'm going to have to build a bit of a bed frame. As you can see here, if I was just literally going to do a horizontal bar all the way across, I'd only be able to screw it in at two points. So I'm going to build a bed frame with four legs that should be able to support my weight and other people's as well. And so then I can literally screw it straight in into the framing behind and also anchor it down to the floor as well. If none of that made sense, then hopefully by the end of this video, it will. Now, kind of, it's not really a snag, but I've come across my first issue. One is the wheel arch. Obviously this bed is gonna be four foot wide. So because of that, if I put this leg that way, which is the way that I wanted, we're gonna have a bit of an overhang from that wheel arch. But what I wanna do is have it that way around, like that. It will still be really secure, but I'm also gonna put down a center one onto the top of the wheel arch anyway, just for a little bit of extra support. Now part of me is still thinking that this is going to really play my OCD up, but I can't really think of another way around it. I mean I suppose I could go that way, but then it's it's not dead up against that wall, which is where I want it to be. It just overhangs. And as there's going to be a front along here anyway, that will get covered up by that. Just do it. Just do it, Sean. Do it. Because this is actually going to go onto this wheel arch which has got insulation on it which means it will compress I want to cut this a little bit longer than what I would think I would need to just so that when it compresses I'm not cutting it too short because if it's too short it's just sag in the middle and it's completely pointless having it there Yeah, so the point is I probably don't actually need this, but I just want to keep it all nice and rigid, nice and square, because these IKEA metal slats that you get, you can adjust the length of them. So because of that, I don't want them sort of folding in on themselves, even though that's pretty secure to the sides and the floor. I don't want this collapsing and then those two sides coming in. So that's there just for extra strength. I mean, there's going to be a front on here anyway, so that's absolutely fine. I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to do one at the back, but I might do. Now, I've ordered three of these because they're lightweight and it should take the weight quite nicely. The thing that people se seem to say when they install these is that the, the brackets are pretty difficult to get hold of. I found it actually really easy. I ordered these online because the nearest Ikea to me is two hours away and I ain't driving all the way up to Exeter. I've ordered three beams and then literally I just went onto the website, spoke to customer services via an email and just ordered six of these brackets. And that's it, it was, it was that simple. Now the first problem I've sort of realized is that with this bracket, it means that the strut's actually gonna sit a lot lower than what I wanted it to. I originally wanted the cross slats that are gonna go all the way along the bed to pretty much just sit right on top of these. So that there would almost need to be up there like that. So what I'm gonna have to do is install these put the slats on a bit lower, but then when I actually make my slats that go across, I'm actually gonna have to build a platform to them, for them to go on along the top of the beams just to raise them up so that they sit level with that, if that makes sense. It made sense in my head.
Do I dare everyone seems to do this? Let's do pull ups on it. So that's pretty sturdy. <laughs> What I was trying to explain just now is that when these slats go across this way, they're going to be too low. So the mattress is almost going to have like a little lip up when it goes into the insert there. And I don't want that. So what I thought I would do, build a little frame for the slats to go on. So that'll go like that. And then they can get screwed down into that. Maybe that way. Yeah, that way. They can get screwed down into that. And then that way, it's all going to be level. I love it when a plan comes together. I know this isn't going to fit because this is the mattress out of the other van, but it is six foot four, roughly. All right, look at that. Oh. <laughs> ah. Oh. And is it too high up? It's not too high up. It's not too high up either. Look, I've still got all this space and obviously the ceiling's gonna be, gonna be right there. Reading lights, ideal. Obviously, the mattress that I will be getting will be going right to the edge and I'll have to sort of just cut away the corners here and here just so that it fits into the inset. It is all finally starting to come together. Now say what you will about Ikea. I ordered obviously the six spare ones of these and they sent me seven. That's customer service. Thank you so much for coming along on this video that I didn't expect was gonna end in making a bed. If you are enjoying these videos, you can follow the full playlist right here and I'll see you next week. Cheers. Yeah.